Nine million kids across the country may be uninsured after Congress allowed the Children's Health Insurance Program to expire. Six on your side, Stephanie Hale Lopez explains what this means for thousands of Idaho children who rely on it. In a few months, around 35,000 children in Idaho could be without health coverage after Congress let the Children's Health Insurance Program expire. Known as CHIP, the program provides health insurance for children and families with low and moderate incomes. There's really no good reason that, that Congress didn't meet that deadline. So we'll be working over the coming weeks to ensure that CHIP is renewed and that kids can continue to go and see the doctor. The federal government has funded most of the program, with states contributing a marginal amount. If funding isn't restored, kids in the program won't be able to see a doctor for routine checkups, immunizations, and other services. One of the fundamental areas of care in uh, the medical home is really to provide stability. And that stability is best when kids have continuous health care coverage. Advocates are hopeful Congress will pass the Kids Act, legislation that would extend funding for CHIP for five years. Kids will be able to see a doctor when they need to. They'll get prescription eyeglasses. And if something really serious occurs, they can go to the hospital. State health officials say Idaho's current CHIP program has funding through January. Stephanie Hill Lopez, six on your side. Funding for another federal program expired over the weekend as well. The Maternal Infant and Early Childhood Home Visiting Program left in September, September 30th to be exact. It provided home-based support to 160,000 families throughout 2016.